Welcome to the Online Zone right here on Card Player TV. I'm your host, Julio Rodriguez, and I'm here to bring you the latest online poker news and interviews with the game's best. Let's get started. The UB Online Championship Series wrapped up this Sunday with their $1,000 buy-in main event. The tournament featured a $1 million guarantee, but that number was surpassed when the field size reached 1,032 players. In the end, Charlie Chasman C. Combs defeated two Curioso heads up to take down the title and the $230,000 first place prize. Other notable winners during the series included Joshua PB Drunks Van Doon, Anton Antes Vante Wig, and Daniel MH Rep Kelly. This Sunday, the World Championship of Online Poker, better known as the WCOOP, kicks off with the first three of 62 total events. PokerStars has already set aside a guaranteed $50 million for the total prize pool, but the monster fields are expected to make that number grow. Check back next week for the results. Now, let's take a look at the Online Player of the Year leaderboard. As you can see, Taylor Park continues to lead, but Kirbynator, a Canadian player who wishes to remain anonymous, has jumped into the second spot, right in front of Steve Gross and Casey Jarzebek. Raj Vora, who had a solid week with four caches, rounds out the top five. Our interview this week is with 16th place resident Zach Gruneberg. The 20-year-old Penn State student has been one of the more consistent players in the OPOY race this year, with 28 final tables, including a win in the Sunday Mulligan. Take a look. Zach, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. But you have 28 final tables this year. How you feeling? I'm honestly feeling really great. Coming off like the best month of poker I've ever had in July. Like I'm at like the top of my game. I'm feeling great. Everything's working out. I didn't even know that I had 28 final tables, but I knew it was a lot. Do you feel like you're just in the zone right now, or was it something you changed in your game that made you, you know, achieve this level of success? Yeah, like, I don't know. I've evaluated it a little bit lately, and I've made, like, a few minor changes that I think might be making major differences, but it's, like, hard to tell because, like, they're so minor that I feel that it might just be, like, I'm running a little bit better, but, like, I'm not sure. Like, it depends. Now, for those who don't know your poker background, you kind of came out of nowhere in 2009 at the Aussie Millions. Um, how did that all begin? <laughs> uh, that's a pretty funny story, actually. <laughs> well, one Sunday night, like, I was just sitting home. I was like, I think I was like, I just turned 18, and I was playing on sportsbook.com. Like, I guess it's an affiliate of Cake Poker. And I was playing in a free roll, like, 10 gold chip to the Aussie Millions. And only first place got a package. And I came into the final table, ninth and ninth, and I ended up winning the whole thing. So <laughs> instead of uh, giving me the package, they gave me 16K. And I ended up fixed limit, like, cash game grinding it up. And I was just like, I was just like, man, let's just go to Australia. And we, I, me and our two friends went down there. And uh, I actually ended up winning the limit hold'em tournament. Uh, for like 35k Australian or something, and then a week later getting six in the main, which was just really crazy. Like at the time, I didn't even realize like what I had just accomplished. Really, it was just like shocking. Now, I mean, that's a pretty big jump start to a bankroll. Did you take that and immediately go, all right, time to time to see what I could grind this up to? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it started off kind of rough. I came back and I lost uh, a like 50k in a cash game straight up. Like I lost a 30k pot uh, with King King on a Jack Jack seven four all in against Liberty Six on the turn. He had eight four. He called my all in somehow and he rivered an ace. And I was just shocked. <laughs> so I, I stopped cash games right after that. And then I won the Sunday warm up for like 120k. So that was pretty good. Now, you're 20, right? You turn 21 pretty soon? Yep, I turn 21 November 2nd. All right. So you're sitting, you, you go to Penn State. Um, what's it like being, like, you know, the rich guy on campus? <laughs> uh, well, I, I don't go to Penn State anymore. I, I still live here, though. Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of it's kind of weird because I I live in the same town as a uh, PSU tennis and Avril Sharpova, so it's not like there's just one of us. There's like actually a, a lot of really sick <laughs> poker players in State College. It's pretty crazy. So no one's ever hitting you up for beer money or anything like that. Oh no no, I've been hit up for money all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've shot out a, a large sum of money to 
partying around this town. That's a fact. So you're turning 21 soon. Do you have any plans to finally play stateside? Oh, yeah, absolutely, actually. Uh, I just read, like, a month and a half ago that, uh, like, 10 days after my birthday, they announced that ABT in Los Angeles, and I'm shipping it out there right away for the summer, my 21st, and uh, try to win that. For sure, man, for sure. Well, I'd like to thank you for being on the show. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Well, that will do it for us here on The Online Zone. Be sure to send in your comments and questions to The Online Zone at cardplayer.com. See you next week.